Alright guys, not sure if you can hear me or not, but uh, I'm on my way to the uh, Shanghai International Airport so I can head over to the uh, Ukraine. Let me just give you the tour. This is the, uh, the subway in Shanghai. It's like pretty busy here. so freaking tired. I did that job this morning and then after that job I, I did an audition. I did an audition for um, Mercedes Benz. I think I rocked that audition. If I get the job guys, that's just icing on the cake. If I get that job, you guys are going to be getting a little something special. I kid you not. So right now I'm transferring um, subways now. I have to go to like another, another one. Go ahead and put it on pause here until I get to the, uh, the subway. Hey, believe it or not, but back in the day, see all these posters? I used to be on like tons of these posters all over, all over China. Posters, like uh, billboards, uh, everywhere. And of course, I was always on TV doing, um, you know, commercials. So you can, I, if you're like an elevator with the TVs, I always saw myself. I'm like a nobody now though. I'm like a tourist here. Oh shoot. Oh man, this is gonna be hard to get in here. I'm gonna have to go close. So when I reach the uh Shanghai Airport, I have a flight to the uh, Ukraine, which is 10 hours, and, and then from the Ukraine, or, I'm sorry, from uh, Shanghai, I'll reach the um, uh, Istanbul, Istanbul, Turkey, and then I'll, and I'll do a transfer there, and then from there I'll fly to the Ukraine, that's like another two hours, so like a 12 hour total flight. Anyways, this is the subway. You guys can see here. I could have took the taxi, but the thing is, if, if I take the taxi, I would spend like, it would take like 45 minutes and I would spend like um, 32 US dollars. But if you take the subway, it takes double the time, an hour and a half, but it's, only, it's like less than two dollars. So if you have time, it's definitely worth it uh, to take the subway. The thing I realized too, guys, is, you know, like, you know, they say, you know, like a lot of Americans are like obese, and like my whole like thinking behind it is because the lack of like walking. If you guys are ever around like Asia and like even Europe, a lot of people walk like everywhere. I, I used to live here in Shanghai, and then when I moved back to the U.S., within like three months, I gained like 25 pounds. I mean, I'm like all like over. When I was like living here. I mean, you're, you're constantly walking everywhere, you go on the 
subway to subway, you go like upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. I mean, you walk like two or three miles a day and you would like stay in shape. So I got, every time I went back to the US for like a couple months, I got fat again. And then I come back to like uh, Asia and I start like walking and I drop all the weight. Packed like sardines in here. It's like about 5:30 p.m. Everyone's like getting off of work. Here, I'll give you kind of. I mean, there's a lot of people on here. I, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. But I am seriously like so jet lagged. Like this morning, I had work and I freaking rocked. I mean, I was jet lagged, but I freaking rocked it. As soon as I got done work, I went home. I packed my uh, my book bag because I'm going to the uh, Ukraine. And I went to the audition for Mercedes Benz. I think I rocked that. Like I said, if I get that job, it's going to be nothing but uh, icing on the cake. And uh, I'm going to be sharing some of that with you guys. So if I get that job, it's definitely going to be a uh, blessing. <laughs> My whole trip here in Asia will so be worth it. But I'll actually be um, away. Today is like the 26th of May. And I won't be, I'll come back to Shanghai. Um, like May 1st. So that's probably like another um, 45 minute ride. 45 minutes more until I get to the uh, airport. It's cool because the subway takes you directly to the uh, Shanghai International Airport. I wish I could show you guys, but I, I, I can't move my arm. I'm like so stuck in here. You can kind of see. Let me uh, let me try to move my big head out of the way. See all the people. Uh, I, I forgot my microphone too, so I'm not even sure if you guys can hear me. But I'm filming off my Samsung Galaxy S7 right now. Man, I, I am seriously tired. And the thing is, I, I really don't know what to expect in uh, Ukraine. Usually what they'll do is like my agent will send me a storyboard, a storyboard so I know what's going on. Like, so the only thing I know so far is I had to do some kind of dancing, like, um, like classical music, like the waltz or something like that. So hopefully they have like a choreographer that's going to like teach me some steps. Um, but I have no, I have no idea like if I'm a dad, if I have kids. Um, I don't know like anything. You know, typically they send you the storyboard, so you, you have like an idea like what you have to do, what scenes they want. Sometimes there's speaking roles, you know, what they want you to say. So. We are now at Dongchang Road. Dongchang Road. Dongchang Road. Uh, I'm getting like really freaking hungry too. <laughs> Let me try to um, switch spaces when we're at another stop now. They're getting ready to exit right here. Nobody's getting off here. Yeah, I, I can't really move because my I'm like squishing here like sardines. And I have this huge, this backpack. It's huge. I don't want to carry a suitcase because I, I like to go light when I'm traveling across country. It just makes it like so much easier. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to actually um, upload this because I don't know if you guys can actually uh, hear me or not. But let's see.
I'm living my life, man. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna end it here. It's been like 10 minutes so far. I'll probably uh, do another vlog when I'm actually um, in the Ukraine. And we'll see what I have to do. I seriously hope that they don't put me in a freaking swimsuit because I got a freaking gut. But typically, if they're gonna put you like in a swimsuit, like when I did the audition at my house in uh, Los Angeles, you know, they'll have you like take your shirt off and stuff like that. So, I mean, thank God I'd have to do that. Cause I, if I did that, I definitely would not get the job because I'm like all freaking blubber. But sometimes, um, you know, they don't they don't tell you to do that in casting. They just expect that you're gonna have like a super nice body cause you're a model. So, and a couple times I, I've had that where I was like in the US. I, actually, my last job in Sri Lanka, I had a, like half of the shoot was like in a swimming pool and I had like, it was so freaking embarrassing. Like I was literally trying to hide. Anyways, I'm about to cut out here. I'll see you guys in Ukraine. Peace out.